Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back to episode 17 of Let's Make a Mod, and this time we're going to be focusing on how to set our items and blocks into our creative inventory. So that's actually pretty cool. It is very useful, for, especially for people making big mods. Uh, this is very ideal for you to see your items in your creative inventory. It's actually pretty easy. Anyways, it's uh, very simple, and if you guys have any errors, like throughout this whole modding series, if you guys get any errors, well, I have help forms, so you guys can go post whatever you want anything you guys need help on go to my help forums it's my website and yeah just make sure you guys don't rage I mean really if you guys really do get a mistake please don't post these comments come on seriously I don't need these here anyways uh, yeah sorry for the delay of making this episode it's been like two weeks since episode 16 so anyways let's start off this one so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our blocks because our blocks don't show up in Minecraft. Let me go ahead and press play. If you guys are already done uh, creative inventory, you know setups and all that stuff, you guys don't really need to watch this tutorial. But still, I just want to make it clear for you guys. Uh, we've already set our items to display in our creative inventory. It's already right here. It should already automatically display when you create a item. If it doesn't show up, well then this tutorial will help you. Your blocks will not show up. Let me scroll all the way up to the block section and we should not be able to see any of my blocks. You see there's nothing here. And make sure that when you are uh, creating blocks and stuff that you guys don't override uh, any items because if you override an item that's really gonna suck so let's scroll down here there see there is nothing here so there's no special blocks so we're gonna add in our blocks and in order in order to do that what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into my description and there should be source I set up source always in my description so you guys can never ever be lost because it's right there in the description you're gonna open it up and it's gonna open up as a web page what you're gonna do is there's two sections one for items and one for blocks we're gonna do the one for blocks so we're just gonna copy this code you're gonna right click and copy and you could either choose there's actually three methods in order to actually make your items appear the first method is to copy the code and paste it here to your public class right here this uh, public static final this section right here you could actually copy and paste the code here or you could actually make it faster and uh, paste it in the same mod underscore minecraft you could paste it into your public void load so if you want to paste it here or you could paste it here or you could actually go to the actual class which is uh, I think we called it green block yeah here it is block green if you go to the block green class that you made uh, you could actually just paste it right in there so it's actually there's three ways to actually doing this but in this case I'm just gonna go here to public void load because it'll be more simple I just copied and paste the code and this is the code for the the block see tab block right here so this what is this this is the item that we're gonna make set to our creative tab and it will be in the tab block section so this we have to replace this to the name of the block so we want both our green block and our green solid block to show up because this is the ore and this is the actual solid block that you make using all the green gems so I'm just gonna copy this right here the green block or you could actually just type it but I'm gonna copy it go here to this right here that we have selected because we have to define what this this means so there we go so green block there we go now you could actually copy and paste this code you know several times uh, as long as you want so I'm just gonna press enter and just paste that right in remember I'm doing this in the public void load and what I'm gonna do is go here to green and just I'm just gonna type in solid so there we go solid so this is for my ore, and this is for my actual item and I got an error well how did I get myself an error it's because I named it incorrectly so let me see I think I spelled solid completely wrong let me see Sol L I D no 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 uh, so solid oh there oops there's a there's an action L there we go so it should be able to work there we go so green solid and now if I press play it should be able to go up in to my creative inventory and I should be able to see my blocks so single player go into my world and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my inventory I'm in the blocks section the building blocks and scroll all the way down and I should be able to see my green ore. look there's some green ores right here in my green block so they did show up remember last time there was nothing here so it did show up and there we go did I just say it did show up or shut up did I what what did I just say I don't know I think I was talking too quick but anyways here's my ore and here's my solid block well what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you a different method in order to uh, actually add in this code a different way so instead of doing it this way if you guys don't want to place it here in your public void load not sure why you don't want to but let's say you want to put it somewhere else you want to put it here in the public class we already added in this code if you guys haven't already done that so this is uh, this is defining what the item is this is defining uh, the item I'm not sure I'm skipping I'm skipping ahead I should just go back to what I was talking about 
uh, we're gonna do it a different method for the blocks so we just removed it here to the public void we removed it and now we're gonna do it a different method which is the second method which we're gonna go here to solid block and we're just gonna paste in the code right here at the very end at the very end of everything you're just gonna paste it so I've already had it copied and pasted, so I could just uh, paste it so what you need to do is if you get any errors any underlines what you're gonna do is just highlight that error and just backspace there you go you just have to make that code this code right here for blocks you just have to remove this and just put dot set creative tab and you put it for blocks see right here it shows up right here so dot set creative tab and creative block if you have two semicolons just remove one you don't need two but there you go if you have it like that then you're good so I'm gonna copy this one more time I'm just gonna copy this code and I'm gonna go here to my or and at the very end I'm just gonna paste it right in where it says dot set creative tab and here's the block if it says tab misc that means material or miscellaneous and yeah it's actually there's two different ways there's misc and materials they're two different things but uh, I would recommend just to go with misc or either way it doesn't really matter because it's the same inventory but other than that there we go so we have set it a different method which is just to remove the this and just paste this in and if we press play again it should be able to show up in our inventory either way and let's go to single player go into our world and let me go to the building block section scroll all the way down and it should be up it should be right here and there it is so we have done this for a block now let's go ahead and try this for an item but all my items already appear in my creative in inventory so there isn't really a solid way for me to show you that it actually works instead of just copying and pasting the code so I'm just gonna do that uh, if you guys don't have an item that shows up just copy the code go to your public void load you're just gonna go to your public void load and just paste it right in and what you're gonna do is oops I didn't copy it correctly let me go ahead and backspace everything I copied it incorrectly which gave me a ton of errors so let me just go ahead and copy this and I'm just gonna paste it one more time I think I think uh, I forgot to put this Hold on yeah I forgot to put this so I'm gonna add that to the source right there so when you guys download this it's gonna say this and what you do is just replace that this with the actual name so if I want my food to show up I'm just gonna put food 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 <laughs> I'm gonna put food zero one and it should be able to work once you have done that it should um, let's see this um, what is this why is it showing up super weird I thought I copied the right code. Ooh, this one says block. Wow. Well, oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I did something weird. I did something weird to my code uh, that actually totally screwed it up. Oh, there we go. I actually copied and pasted the wrong thing. See? This is the code I was actually trying to get. See, I don't need this. Let me go ahead and redo that. So it says your item. And in yours, when you open up the web page, it should say your item. And what you can do is in your item, you're just going to call it food001, or you could do whatever you want. And there you go. That is it, guys. Um, it's very simple, easy to understand. It's just like doing a mall loader at smelting. All you do is just define the name of the item, and you just uh, copy and paste this code. And what it does, it just adds in the creative tab into your materials. And materials is items, and blocks are blocks. So it's pretty easy to understand. Let's go to multiplayer or single player and go into our inventory. And it should already show up for items. Uh, see, it's right here. This is the food. And that is it, guys. You could either choose three different methods. You could go into the actual class. You could actually paste it here to the public void load. Or you could paste it right here in the end of the defining it. So public, uh, the public section right here. You could just paste it. See, set tool and all that stuff. Uh, tab misc which is the same thing as materials because it's an item and that is it guys hopefully you guys understand everything I just said uh, rewatch this if you have any errors and if you guys need really like further help well then I have help forums go to my help forums spam whatever you like any questions we will try our best to help you out and even if our help forums doesn't help you out there's even a mob uh, mod development section in the minecraft forums which I'll lead you there if you guys have some advanced uh, you know needing help if you guys have some advanced questions then I'll send you guys to the actual
forum that you could post and you guys you guys could get all your help so that is it if you guys enjoy my let's make a mod series go ahead and leave a rating before you leave i really do appreciate it uh next time we're going to be focusing on a little bit more things we're going to soon later on we're going to be shifting to advanced stuff we're going to be making our own mob soon when i figure out how to make a mob we're going to make our own mob our own dungeons well not dungeons it's dimensions there we go our own dimensions trees plants everything crops fuel all that good stuff you guys just wait and see we'll get there we're just going everything step by step for us to understand all the foundations that we need to know before we start owning really bad so that is it guys i'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys later thank you